come to Jilin to play with snow in winter. The worm annual gathering is kicking off. The continuous Changbai Mountains are covered with snow. The special volcanic landform fails to suppress the fiery inner heat. The mist rising on the surface of Tianshu Lake gives it a faint heavenly ambience. Between the ice and snow and warm springs, they make people linger and forget to return. On both sides of the Songhua River, pure rime ice hangs all over the branches. When snow falls, it seems to wash everything, so winter becomes intoxicating and aesthetic. It is home to the most representative architectural style in China. Which boasts red brick walls and glazed tiles. Its color is more vivid after the washings by flying snow. It is surrounded by pine forests on the high mountain here. There is infinite mystery in the vast expanse of snow. A hundred leagues are locked in ice and filled with whirling snow. Winter comes as promised. The north wind blows across a vast expanse, which merges into a magnificent northern scenery. The unfrozen river is steaming, and its vitality is not reduced at all. At the foot of the Siwen volcano is the aftertaste of hot days. Deep in the forest sea and snow plain, reindeer accompany the ancient tribe. On galloping horses, the stories of heroes are still being told. In the arms of the Tian Shan Mountains and the Kunlun Mountains, the wind and snow come earlier. The seven-month-long ice and snow period purifies this area. Hundreds of millions of years of geological movement and wind and rain erosion have created extreme lines. Green forests and flowers are hidden by the cold winter, making Xinjiang's own color purer. Undisturbed silence has spread to the desert. The ancient desert poplar has not fallen for thousands of years, proving the power of life. Driving enthusiasts find a paradise here.